Hey, just a heads up. Mr. Whiskers has to go to the vet today for his checkup, so we need to go get his carrier. Hey, Johnny, can you run out and get it out of the garage while I find Mr. Whiskers? What a beautiful day! The sun is up, and I'm gonna find a place to lay out and take a nap. All of this sleeping has made me extremely tired. Oh look, my human is coming. This must mean it's time to eat or play with that infernal red dot that I can never seem to catch. Jeez, what a great way to start the day. I can postpone my nap for just a couple more minutes. Oh, there you are, Mr. Whiskers. Let's get you into the carrier so we can go to the bed. Johnny, did you get the carrier? Yeah, Dad. I put it on the kitchen counter. Thanks, son. Do you think you can help me put him in here? Mr. Whiskers always fights me when I try to put him in the cat carrier. Wait, wait. This isn't the room where my toys are. Oh, no. It's the box, not the box. Please don't put me in there. I'll scratch you if you put me in there. No. Ugh. What's that noise? I was sleeping. Wait. What are you doing to Mr. Whiskers? That's my cat. If anyone's gonna torture him, it's gonna be me. Man alive, why does this have to be so hard? I'm just trying to keep you healthy. Why do cats hate going to the vet so much? Now you want me to come out of the box? Fat chance. This place smells weird. Sides, what are those things on the table? And who's that strange human trying to touch underneath my tail? No way. I'm staying in here. You wanted me in here, so that's where I'm staying. I just don't understand why he behaves like this. He's so calm and mellow at home and loves any and everyone that comes to our house. Honestly, he's never this crazy and he certainly never tries to bite or scratch anyone. Well, where do you keep the cat carrier when it's not in use? In the garage, on the top shelf. That might be a problem right there. Cats often get stressed out when they are placed in these carriers because they're unfamiliar with them. We recommend that you leave your cat carrier out for several days before you come and visit us. Try putting treats in there and encourage him to go in at his own leisure. Ideally, you'd be able to make this a regular part of your home decor. You may also want to consider getting a top-loading carrier. They make it much easier to get your cat in and out of the carrier, and it's a much less stressful experience for your cat overall. You should also put your cat's favorite toy or blankets in there as well. It would help reduce their stress levels by surrounding them with familiar odors. I never thought that before. It all makes a lot of sense. You know, I never thought of that before. It all makes a ton of sense. Jeez, you know what'll make even more sense? When I puke in your shoes tonight and shred that suit you were planning on wearing to the ball next weekend all while you're sleeping. Why are you sticking that up there? Oh, the car. That means my human is home. Hooray! Cool your jets, Fido. Let me just get Mr. Whiskers out of his carrier and I'll feed you. Oh, my cat. I'm gonna smell his butt to say hello. Ew, bro. You smell funny. I'm gonna go away. Not only was I tortured, violated, and humiliated, now my human won't even play with me. I'm going to go and hide under the bed and wait till the human goes to sleep to exact my revenge. More. Maybe just fall asleep. It's time to go to the vet, Mr. Whiskers. Oh boy, a treat! And my human is placing it in my bed. I love treats in my bed. Treats in my bed. Mm. I wonder why my human covered me up though. Oh well, I'm gonna take a nap now. A good news, Mr. Whiskers is in perfect health. Hey, Mr. Whiskers, where'd you go, man? Why do you smell funny? Not a clue, but you're hardly one to talk about smelling funny. I saw you rolling around in the mud yesterday, bud. That's not mud, bud. Good point. Let's go play. Hooray! The video's over. Yes, rub my rub. Oh, right there, rub my rub. Oh, scratch my neck. Ah, yeah.